Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Elf Diorama Beer Review. Look, I was given a girl's medium, and if this is a girl's medium, I don't want to know what the girl's small was. Because, yeah, I've had, a, uh, I've had bigger dishcloths than this thing. Uh, today we're going to drink a beer. Today we're going to drink a beer. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll do this beer right here. This beer from Waterloo Brewing Company. This is their new, well, one of their newer, um, and it's handmade by Brewmasters, which I hope so. I hope it's made by Brewmasters. Uh, this is the Double Double Doppelbock. Double Double Doppelbock. Just looking to see if there's an ingredients list on here. And there is not. It does say that it is a smooth, malty beer with a low bitterness, high alcohol, and a coffee kick that will make you, uh, wake you from your winter slumbers. Hmm. ABV? Where's the ABV on here? Motherfuckers. See, I always intend to look before I do this stuff, but the 473 milliliters, okay, so the ABV should be there, 7. Like, that's not that hard, come on guys. And what I was, why I wasn't being able to find it is it's right there. It's that little silver circle in the middle of the slightly silver circle. Yeah, okay. Let's do the beer review. I'm gonna grab the Cameron's glass, and that's what we're gonna do with it. Wow, that's a really pretty beer. Beautiful, beautiful black beer. Oh look, it's rolling up now. Beautiful, beautiful black beer. Beautiful brownish head. It looks awesome. Look. Alrighty, so, let's give the beer a smell. Visually very appealing smell. <laughs> Actually kind of smells awesome. Oh, okay. Out of the can, I'm getting like licorice, coffee, and malt. Out of the glass, I'm basically getting like a Tim Hortons double-double out of the glass. <laughs> So if uh, Tim Hortons Double Doubles is what you like, it's good this way. Cheers, let's try it. Okay, so I said this with the last two. Uh, I really should have closed that door before I started this. I do apologize. Uh, the last two seasonals I've had by them, the uh, Smoked Rogan beer, the Applewood Smoked Rogan beer, and the, um, oh, what was the other? Uh, I can't even remember it off the top of my head now. But the last two uh, seasonals, uh, all the way back to the Vanilla Porter, Waterloo seems to have taken a turnaround and has become back to what it should have been, which was the actual craft line of the brick where the other things were the, like, uh, budget beers and all that, but this actually is starting to taste like a true craft beer again. Very malty. Very malty. A little bit of an alcohol warming. Lots of coffee. Sweet coffee all the way through. With a little bitterness on the back end. Uh, it's a very, very pretty beer.
much prettier than my shirt. I can say that. Um, out of 10 on this, easily a 775. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. I'll drink the rest of this as I watch uh, the final episode of Game of Thrones. Again. Bye.